here with a man that the whole Australian public and the cricketing world have absolutely loved watching bowl this year, Shaheen Shah Afridi. You're not playing in this match. Tell us more. Why not? <laughs> uh, I think uh, I played two games and uh, a lot of overs, to be honest. Uh, that just managing my workload and uh, that uh, medical team and uh, team management decide to take a rest for this. I think that's just for this. What about your bowling? So eight wickets in the series. Are you pleased with how the ball came out? And when we look at these wickets that you had, you've knocked over some important players for Australia. Uh, look, uh, I think I feel I can take more wickets, but unfortunately, uh, you know, uh, take a catch and win the match. So I, unfortunately, we miss that opportunity more, much of, most of the time. But yeah, it's, it's, it's good to tour so far. And I think the last game we played, that was awesome. Uh, as a bowling unit, as a team, I think we put our uh, best that time. But uh, yeah, result not at our hand, but we will try. And talking about, I mean, when we watch Test cricket, we're watching the likes of Mitchell Stark, Josh Hazelwood and Pat Cummins go to work this morning. How much do you watch opposition players and particularly Mitchell Stark? The, look, Mitchell, uh, Mitchell Stark and Trent Bolt, always I watch these two legends and uh, uh, for left arm, for, I think every left arm fast ball, they're watching these two. Uh, for me, always they, I'm following them, how they work and how they're bowling in the games and how they prepare themselves. Uh, I think, yeah, for me, I'm, I'm watching them all, all of the time. What about this match in particular? Four for 75 after winning the toss. How do you sum up the scenario so far? I think the wickets, uh, the way we see morning time, it looks OK. Uh, and the, I think most of the test matches here played uh, batting first. All of the team decided. Yeah, there was, there was I think, uh, at least two wickets. They bowled well. Uh, they hit that area. Uh, Saim is a new guy, a new future star. And, but that sometimes has happened in test cricket. But we will come back soon. What about some recent news? You're now the captain of Pakistan. How does that sit with you in a T20 series coming up? Yeah, I think that's a uh, that's proud moment for me to represent Pakistan team as a captain uh, for all my family as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a challenge for me uh, as a new captain uh, to how to manage the team and, you know, the, the new challenge in coming in World Cup also. Yeah, it's uh, so far is uh, uh, preparing myself for this as well. And if you were the captain in those sheds right now, next session, what are you telling the boys? Look, yeah, it's, it's a tough first session, but uh, I think Sean and Rizwan still in the crease, and we're fully hopeful for that too. These two, they, they are the best in the team, and we're hopeful they were going. They, they big partnership we needed this time. Well, I'm a bowling purist. I'm sad not to see you out there in the middle, but thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers.